he is back. Once again, there's no stopping 2018 PGA Player of the Year, Brooks Kepka, as he wins again, this time at the CJ Cup at Nine Bridges in Korea. Hi, I'm Lou Guzzi, 2013 National PGA Teacher of the Year, with a few tips here on Brooks' great play. Well, number one, he is clearly the total package. But let's take highlight what we like most about Brooks' game that has helped him become the number one player in the world. Well, he's got the physical, that's for sure. We know how strong he is and how far he hits it, a big advantage in today's game. But he's also got consistency and accuracy with his irons, like this tee shot right here on the par 3, 13th that nearly goes in the hole, that left a tap in for one of his eight birdies in the final round. Unbelievable. He's also got the mental game. Even when Brooks gets into trouble, he knows how to minimize the damage and grind out a positive result. Like on this par 4, 16th hole on Sunday, he couldn't find the fairway off the tee and ended up in a fairway bunker. He mishit his second shot, leaving a tricky spot to get up and down to save his par, but instead he stays focused on the next shot. He hits a great chip from about 70 feet away, and when you stay positive, sometimes you can create your own luck. And his ball gets stopped by the pin and dropped in for an unlikely birdie. And lastly, he's got the emotions under control. Kepka just never seems to get rattled or overly frustrated in big moments. He stays calm, and that is so crucial when finishing off a round. During his back nine battle with Gary Woodland on Sunday, that's exactly what he did, and that enabled Kepka to go about his business and shoot a back nine 29, including finishing four under par, the last four holes to win by four. Afterwards, Kepka said he can't wait to get back out there and tee it up again. And with all facets of his game firing on all cylinders, we can see why there's going to be high expectations for Brooks in 2019.